Okay, time to tackle pose body, and I'm just going to focus on the body. We're not going to waste too much time on the face because we've already covered that in other videos. So I will start with this big belly circle, and you can see how you follow the curves, and it will give you how to put his belt on and so on later. So the big belly curve first. Then I think, okay, there's going to be a round shoulder here, and then there's this long oval for his big fat meaty forearm. And a little overlapping one to show where his hand goes. Similarly, on the other side, I know there's a circle here for his, where his um, shoulder is. And again, this long meaty oval for his forearm, his hand, and we can join up like this with lines. Looking here, you can see that there's an oval here, and probably an oval here. This pit. Part of his shorts will go around that way. This part is curving more around that way. So you can use circles and ovals to show how his clothes curve around his body. Similarly, you can use the bottom half of this curve to show how his stripy belt goes. Of course, we can put in the circle for his face just so that we've got it for completeness, but I'm not going to go into the detailed breakdown of his face and ears here. Now Poe is a bear of action, and so we need to look at how we're going to draw him in all his different poses. And the pun is intentional, nothing you can do to get away from that. We start again with this big belly circle. You can see it doesn't perfectly mimic the shape, but that's okay. We're just looking for the main proportions. Then we've got this large meaty forearm, as we've mentioned before. We can't see the arm, but behind it's, it's obscured. And then we have his hand circle here. Most of his arm obscured behind there. All we can see is this fist here. Face on top. And if you look carefully, you can see that he's got a kind of a wrinkle here like this, and then his arm comes down like that. Now looking at his legs, what on earth are we going to do for his legs? Well, we've got this curve which comes around here, and then you've kind of got just a huge oval there and a little oval for his foot. Here, similarly, a circly bit to show that very bent um, thigh down to the knee. The rest of his leg is obscured. And then we've just got this little circle here. Once you've got these pieces in place, it's easy enough to join them up with these little curved lines. And then you can come in and it'll be able to show you where you need to put in lines to get his clothes. But that comes at a later date when you move on to outlining. So for now, those are how we get the main proportions of him in this particular pose. So we're going to do one last po pose because I want to show you why it's so important not to be afraid of letting your circles overlap. So here I'm going for the big belly pose um, circle again. And straight away you see if we don't overlap, we're going to run into a problem. So if I put in this circle here, for that raised leg and knee, you can see that it gives me this beautiful curve where his belt goes around his belly. So it gives me a guideline for that later. And then I can put in this oval here for his foot, the top of his foot. And you can see that where these two intersect, it'll give me guidelines for how to do his foot bandages. Similarly here, we know that this leg goes up into his hip. So we can take an oval like this and overlap it. And we can see there where that would then give us a line for his bandages around his leg and down to a little oval for his foot. Looking up here, now it becomes important to put in his face circle because it's the point that holds these two outstretched uplifted arms in place. And so we could, if we wanted to, put in little circles here just to hold the places. And then, of course, we've got these long ovals to show his uplifted arms. Then we've got ovals there for his hand. And on the other side, this is a really reasonably symmetrical pose here. There we've got his hand like that and like that. And so when you come back to putting his clothes on, you can see how the overlapping circles give us a beautiful sense of how to get a sense of depth as these belts and um, shorts and so on move around his body as his body parts interact with one another.